Donald Trump supporters continued to cheer their candidate outside New York's Trump Tower a day after the former president was convicted of 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in a scheme to illegally influence the results of his 2016 election. In the city's Chelsea neighborhood, voter Nicholas Warner says the conviction was horrible and the country needs a second Trump term. When he was in office for four years, we had nothing like we have going on now with the war and everything else, or the freaking, you know, the economy and inflation. So I just would like him to come back so we can just take care of business, like a businessman, and get this country where it's got to go. In Maryland, voter Arkady Lapidus says Trump's claim that his trial was rigged is not good for the Republican Party or for the country. There is nothing until this party dumps Donald Trump, says we believe in elections, we believe in the courts, we believe in juries who hand down verdicts because they're our fellow Americans, until the party wholesale like, espouses American values as I see them, I will never vote Republican again. Voter Margaret Barnes says that even with a felony conviction, Trump is more believable than Joe Biden. Biden just strikes me as, as being fake, and he's just fake sem sentimentality, just telling stories as if he's this nice old man when, you know, it's just, it's just artificial. I don't believe him. It's insincere. And with Trump, he's bombastic, and he's you know, in that world of gold toilets and champagne and caviar and golf courses and Saudi princes. But even though what he says can, can be offensive, I believe him a lot more. In Colorado, voter Luda Golodnik says Trump's conviction is deserved and she hopes it hurts his campaign. The way that he speaks about women, the way that he treats other countries, the way that he talks about illegal immigrants, him being married to an immigrant also, it just, I, yeah, I think he needs to, he's had what he's had coming a long way. In Nevada, voter Keith Dayton says the verdict has no impact on his vote. I'm still voting for Donald Trump. I think this whole thing has been a mockery. It, I'm embarrassed for our country. I wouldn't have him over for a beer or go to the pub with him. But I, that's not what it's about. In the electoral swing state of Pennsylvania, the verdict may boost Trump supporters, says voter Jeffrey Nesbitt. I think it will be much more effective um, for the American people to just beat him and his movement at the polls. Um, I think that there's a, a good possibility that this verdict may motivate his movement to come out and vote even more uh, aggressively and act more aggressively in this upcoming election. 90% of registered Republicans still back Trump, according to a Reuters Ipsos poll. That remaining 10% of Republicans, now less likely to vote for Trump, could make a difference in a close election where both candidates need to hold their bases and win independent voters. Scott Stearns, VOA News.